right now at 630 and new this morning. A man is waking up behind bars after a massive brawl leads to gunfire. Yeah, and Heather, this is unfolding at a local bar in Sharpsburg. That is where we find Chris Hoffman joining us live this morning. And so, Chris, what have you learned about this? Good morning, David and Heather. According to Sharpsburg Police, 27 year old Justin Craig was involved in that fight inside a big pads bar right on Main Street in Sharpsburg. He then came out and allegedly shot his gun at a car as well as other stuff just right in the middle of the street. Officers were able to identify him through video and witnesses. Now, according to the criminal complaint, Sharpsburg police say it all happened back on October 18th. They had a driver call and say their car was hit by a bullet. Investigators found and went through the trunk of that car, both passenger seats, before lodging itself right into the dashboard. Police reviewed surveillance video from around 1.45 that morning of a man standing on the double yellow line right in the middle of Main Street. He shot at electrical equipment and allegedly fired off several more shots. They see the same man get into an SUV and accuse him of going the wrong way down the street. Officer spoke to witnesses who described the man and identified him as, quote, Justin. Investigators got his full identity of Justin Craig. Now, court papers say video showed a large fight inside the bar over a gun allegedly involving Craig. And witnesses say Craig went after the other people involved in the fight. No reports of any injuries. Now, Craig is facing charges, including aggravated assault. He will have a preliminary hearing on November 10th, and he is currently in the Allegheny County Jail. It's not the first time, though, we're talking about Big Pat's Bar. We looked through our archives, and we saw back in 2016, someone was attacked with a 2 by 4 outside. And back in 2011, someone attacked patrons inside the bar with a meat cleaver. Live in Sharpsburg this morning, Chris Hoffman, KDKA News.